My name is Isabella Kostecki, and I did my science fair project on how music affects plant growth. Background info. Music has shaped many lives and changes the way the world is perceived. One simple song can completely transform someone's day. Many believe it has the ability to change the world. Dating back to the 1800s BC, music has been an eminent part of the lives of humans. But can plants be influenced by music? A key role in the growth and overall life of a plant is a process called photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is the process by which plants use sunlight to synthesize foods produced by carbon dioxide and water. In more simple terms, it's a process in which plants use sunlight to transform carbon dioxide into oxygen. This is good for us since we do the opposite. We take oxygen in and breathe carbon dioxide out. This is called a symbiotic relationship since both parties involved benefit from it. Some previous experiments conducted by scientists are an Indian botanist in 1962 conducted several experiments and concluded that some plants grew an additional 20% in height when they were exposed to music with a significantly higher growth in biomass. A greenhouse owner in Colorado experimented with several genres of music and concluded that plants exposed to classical music thrived as opposed to plants that were exposed to rock. Experimental design. First question is, does music affect the height slash growth rate of a plant? My second question is, does the genre of music affect the height slash growth rate of a plant? And my third question is, which genre of music do plants react the most to? My hypothesis is, if the music played for the plant is classical, then the plant will grow taller. I made this prediction based off of previous experiments done by scientists. The materials used in this experiment include um, 18 kidney beans, water, three egg cartons, which were cut in half, so they had six slots each, one for each type of music and one for no music. Music via radio stations and soil. Um, my independent variable was music, the dependent variable was plant height, the constant variable was water slash soil, and for my control I didn't play any music. Procedure. The first step was to fill each egg carton with soil. Second step was to plant beans in the soil, one per cup. The third uh, step was to label each carton so I didn't mix them up. The fourth step was to separate cartons and play the type of music assigned individually for an hour daily. And the fifth step was to water the plants daily. And here's a picture of me doing my procedure. Results and discussion. Um, here's some pictures of my results. Classical was in the middle with an average of height of 7 inches. The control was the tallest with an average of 8.5 inches. And rock and roll was the shortest with 5.5 inches. Here is a table of my data. Here is a graph of my results. And here is a line graph of my results. I expected plants exposed to classical music to be the tallest and plants exposed to rock and roll to be the shortest, but the outcome was that plants not exposed to music were the tallest and plants exposed to rock and roll were the shortest, as I expected. Um, some changes I could make were playing music for longer periods of time, putting the plants in larger pots so they could have more space to grow, doing several batches of plants to tell if the music could really affect the growth, and conduct the experiment for longer periods of time so the data is more accurate. Conclusion In the future, experiments could be conducted similar to this one on crops such as corn, wheat, and other crops. 
This could be very helpful to farmers and gardeners, and music could constantly be played in farms and the growth rate of plants would increase. If this experiment were to be repeated, it could be tested on other plants, such as mung beans and lentils, to make sure the results are accurate. And here's my bibliography. Thank you.